In these past months, in the face of the coronavirus health emergency, we have experienced challenges and hardships unlike any we have ever faced as a nation, a people, or a church. Our best and smartest first response, as in all things, is to turn to the Lord who comforts us and strengthens us. Our Lord walks with us and guides our way forward. We lift up our prayers for the tragically deceased and their families, for the health care providers on the front lines, and for all who have been afflicted by this scourge. I, along with my brother priests, have been offering our intentions for you at Mass. While I know we are joined in spirit, I must say we all miss your presence in person. As we look forward to being able to reopen our society, some areas have been harder hit than others. Accordingly, Mayor Bowser has extended the stay-at-home order for the District of Columbia through June 8th. Maryland Governor Hogan has transitioned to a safer at-home status. This allows for the lifting of some restrictions for much of the state, but officials in the hardest hit areas in the DC metropolitan area see the need for continued restrictions. Since the Archdiocese of Washington includes territory in multiple jurisdictions, our reopening will have to reflect the various limitations that those jurisdictions impose on public assemblies. In this local church, in the midst of changing conditions, our archdiocesan team is working to finalize plans for when and how we will be able to resume public liturgies in an orderly and safe manner. Please follow the updates issued by your pastor for information pertaining to your particular parish. Still, it is important to understand that things will not immediately go back to normal. Precautionary measures will need to be in place for the health and safety of everyone. And at least in some respects, we should not want to simply go back to the way things used to be. Perhaps we might find some good in the months of social distancing imposed upon us. Perhaps we can use it to bring out the best in us. So our lives going forward include more gratitude, appreciation, service, mercy, and joy. These times have not been easy. Trusting in the loving providence of the Lord, who shepherds us, we look forward to the reopening of our social lives and churches, our neighborhoods, and places of employment. May the blessings of Almighty God and the light of divine wisdom and counsel shine upon you and all of us. Amen.